In today's Kim's Adventure, we're at the Railroad Museum at Tucumcari, New Mexico. On this episode, we'll see what the Railroad Museum is all about, and why this town looks like the set of The Walking Dead. By the way, if you could take the time to smash that like button, it would really help out the channel. So let's get started. In 1901, the city now known as Tucumcari was a railway construction camp and was nicknamed Six Shooter Siding due to the numerous gunfights. Almost a decade later, the name was officially changed to Tucumcari, a Comanche word for ambush. Hmm, I don't know if I would move to a city known for gunfights and ambushes. For many years, Tucumcari has been a popular stop for cross-country travelers. A large number of motels and restaurants were built through the 30s and the 50s. The town grew to 6,000 residents, making it the largest city between Amarillo and Albuquerque. But something must have happened in the last few decades because what I experienced there was quite unusual. So life's taken me to another interesting place. We're in Tucum, Tucum Carey, Main Street, and literally everything looks abandoned. It's like a ghost town. Um, there's supposed to be like a railroad museum here. So I'm gonna go see if it's open. It's open um, Wednesday through Saturday. So today will be closed. It's a small museum though. The building where the museum is housed is a fully restored Union Station Depot built in 1926. Because we were locked down, I didn't get a chance to see what's inside. But according to Donna TX52's review on TripAdvisor, it was worth a stop. She gave it a 5 out of 5. ES Hicks called it a beautiful depot while giving it a contradictory 2 out of 5. Tough critic. Can't imagine what it's like to live with such a person. Overall, most people had a positive experience there. And this is an actual functioning railroad near the Tucumcari Railroad Museum. Look at how long that train is. Oh, there's a stray dog. The cute stray dog right there. So I just talked to the guy over there that was working and he said that this used to be a railroad and a trucking town. And they used to have a population at about 40 to 50,000. And um, a lot of that interest a lot of that industry about 15 years ago started to move away and now you're left with these kind of buildings. Completely abandoned, looks like a tornado came through, broke all the roofs. It's kind of a, it's like a ghost town. It's interesting that there's actually towns like this in America that is, um, it looks like nature is basically taking over the city. It's getting abandoned. There's a coffee shop down there that says coming soon with boarded up windows. This coming soon has turned out to be a coming never. It's just another abandoned building at Tucumcari. Looks like the guy didn't read the sign right there. It says please do not leave furniture. But you know what? I think I'm gonna enjoy this one. Ah, rest my feet a bit. <laughs> so this was actually kind of interesting. You know, we just came out here on a random stop. You know, just trying to see this uh, railroad museum, which is closed, and then all around it is just, um, just like a ghost town. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm on the set of The Walking Dead. <laughs> Apocalypse. This would be a perfect town to film an apocalyptic movie. It's nothing. Absolutely nothing. But we're going to be on our way now. The museum is closed. And uh, we're going off to our next stop. Our final destination for today will be Denison, Texas. Alright, let's take off now. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, here's some more suggestions. And as always, 
Please like, subscribe, and press the bell for notifications. And I'll see you on the next Kim's Adventure.